think what I want to do is I want to start right here on my right hand side and even though this is not my desk per se I certainly use this area when I am working so this is just a plastic five drawer system that I got from Walmart maybe about three to five years ago and I'm not going to show you what's in it I just want to move on to my desk but I will show you what's on top of it I have my Cricut paper trimmer along with some paper planner accessories and even a couple of planners here is some things that I cut out with my Cricut and then here right to the left of it I have a two-tier file cabinet and Oh my God, there's so much junk in there. Again, we are going to stay at the top of all the surfaces that I'm gonna show you. So I have a sticker book here. I have just um, a note sheet right here. This is my son when he was a itty bitty baby, but now he's 20. Here is just an organizer. It's a paper keeper, envelope keeper, mail keeper. I don't know what you want to call it, but that's what that is. And it's just, again, full of stuff. Like I can't identify much of anything that's in there. I don't know if you could see behind it, but I do have my phone. So as we move on, go into the left, here is the main part of my desk. This is the area that is most used. Um, and I sit in this chair pretty much every single day to do something. All right, there is my computer, my desktop computer. And to the left of it, I have some more storage. So here is another file keeper with tons of junk in it and then to the left of that right here this is where I keep my budget planner I have my social media planner and this one here this is a planner that is really just like memory keeping stuff and I hardly ever use it so that's what's there then here I just have some things that I really like seeing when I am working at my desk and that is this nostalgic bubblegum machine. And as you can tell, I keep my washi tape in it. Some of my washi tape because I have tons of washi tape. And then this Campbell soup can has tons and tons of sentimental value. I've had it literally since I was about eight years old and it was given to me by my uncle. Uh, so it, there was a shirt inside of it and it was a Christmas gift. So when I received it, it had the top on and I had to use a can opener to open the can and receive the gift, which was a t-shirt. And yes, I actually have that too. So anyway, uh, moving along, I found these two purple baskets and I'm sure they were created for Easter, but they were purple and I just thought they were really pretty. I got those at a thrift store. Oh my gosh, probably like two months ago. And even though I didn't have real use for them, you know what? I'm like, Sherelle, get them. They're purple. We'll figure it out. So underneath there, I have some lock and lock storage containers that I ordered from QVC and you can see that I haven't even used them yet. And then these are one, two, three different puzzle books that I got from Aldi's. I love doing any type of mind games and crossword, Sudoku. So that's what those are. And then this is just a warmer. I think it's really like when I purchased it, I believe the packaging said like candle warmer or candle melt, but I use it to put my coffee on. So when I am down here in the morning, if I have my cup of coffee, I turn this on and I put my coffee on there to keep it warm. And yes, it does. It, it works. All right. So here is, um, let me just show you this. This is another item that has sentimental value. When I was dating my husband in college, he went down south. And when they stopped at the south of the border, he purchased this for me. And so I've kept it forever. So that item right there is got to be more than 30 years old because him and I have been together just about that or longer. Okay, so here is another container full of uh, planners that I really don't even touch that often. I just, they're just sitting there basically. That's what they're doing. All right, so here I have this unit that I got from Michael's and it does have wheels, but you know, it's pretty much a stationary unit. I don't move it too much. 
And on top of it, I have a spot for my scissors and some writing instruments. And then here is just another mail organizer. And you can see it's just a mess. Behind it, I got this really pretty storage box. And inside of it, guess what? More planner supplies. I'm sure you weren't surprised, right? So, but that's what's there. I have more planner su uh, supplies. And I like this so much because just take a quick look at the top, right? And then look right here. So I found them to be compliments and I thought it would be just really, really nice um, to have together in my craft room. And at one point they were next to each other, but just, you know, over the months and just being in the craft room and moving things around, I ended up just separating them. But that was the whole idea behind me purchasing this item so that it would complement that item. But you know what? There are so many colors going on in this craft room and I'm absolutely okay with it. Uh, let me show you something else. Okay, so here is my rolling cart that I've had for just about a year. I got this from Michaels. Now this does get moved around way more than often, okay? Because for one, I have a lot of things stored down there. Can you see? And all the way at the bottom. And in order for me to get to it, I just have to move the cart a little bit here and there to get to what's on the bottom. Here is some more planner supplies at the top. And in this video, I am definitely not touching anything here because this right here is a video in and of itself. So nothing's happening with this car. I just figured I'd give you a snapshot of what's there. So my friends, let's go back to my desk. Um, I want to show you again, just real briefly, everything that's on it. Okay, so that you can, you know, just kind of know what I'm working with today. And again, my primary goal today is to organize everything from here. Okay, right here. And going across, I want to tackle everything, I think, up to this point, excluding the rolling cart. So in order for me to achieve this goal, one thing that I want to do is I'm going to start out by taking everything off this desk, okay? So what I'm doing, guys, is I'm literally just removing everything except for my desktop. And I'm just going to move it to another part of the craft room. And then once everything is cleared, we'll go ahead and reorganize the desk. So now guys, my surface area is nice and clean. I've taken everything off of the desk. I've taken everything off of this surface. And over here, I've taken everything off of here as well. So at this point, gotta clean, right? It doesn't make sense to have a perfectly empty surface and not take the opportunity to clean it. So I am just gonna go ahead and take out my Clorox wipes that I keep in here. And I'm just gonna go ahead and start cleaning. So if you're wondering what I'm spraying, it's literally just water. That's all that is, it's just water. And um, I just like making my wipes a little bit more saturated and wet when I'm cleaning. So I just added a little water to it. So honestly, these surfaces were not that dirty. So I only used one wipe, but I'm just gonna go ahead and pull another one. I'm gonna wipe it down again. And then behind that, I'm going to take, ooh, do I not? Well, I don't have any more. So I'm not going upstairs to get any more wipes. But what I do have is my handy dandy micro cloth. So I'm going to use this to wipe down the surface again. And I guess from there we'll figure out what's going back on this desk. But I assure you, everything is not going back on that desk. It was way too cluttered for me. Okay, my friends, done deal. 
While my surfaces are drying, I'm going to take this plush microfiber cloth that I ordered from QVC like a couple years ago. And this is what I use to keep my screen dust free. I love this thing. I don't have to apply any water or anything. I just take this and wipe down my screen and it just keeps it looking nice and fresh. And like I said, it keeps down the dust. So yeah, I love this thing. The other thing I have up here, and I don't know if you can see it, it's just a clear little acrylic board or acrylic piece that I got from um, Forever 21. So you know when you're going down to the checkout, they always have like all these doodads. So I found this and I attached it to the top of my, of my screen. And normally what I have is just little notes and stuff that I keep up here just as little reminders or sometimes as even passwords, but because I'm filming, I took that stuff down. All right, so let's go ahead and start replacing some of the items that I took off the desk. We're gonna go ahead and start putting some of that stuff right back. So to begin, of course I have to replace my keyboard. So I'm gonna just set that right here. And I should have made sure that my surface is dry. And it is, it doesn't take that long to dry. You guys already know that. So I put my keyboard back and my mouse, and no, I'm not wiping them down. They're relatively clean. This video is really all about just reorganizing my desk and making it neater so that when I come down here, I'm not frustrated at the mess that I'm looking at before I even begin to work. So here we go. So you guys notice that I keep going in this direction every time I'm picking something up or, you know, removing things. And that's because over here is where my door is to the craft room. And on the other side of the door is where my finished basement is. So what I did was when I was cleaning everything off of the desk, I was putting it on a couch out here. So you're going to see me going back and forth in this direction a whole lot. Okay, so one of the things that is definitely staying on the desk is this system right here. This organizer is where I keep my budget planner and I do billing and banking every single Friday. If I'm not billing and banking on Friday, it's because I have to work. Other than that, I have a date every Friday down here at my desk to take care of my billing and banking. And this is my budget planner, so I need that to be close by. The other thing that has to stay on my desk is this planner right here. And this is the planner that I use to write down all of my videos and stuff for YouTube. And this is where I keep record of all my YouTube schedules and posts and uploads and all that. So this also has to stay at my desk and at my fingertips. So for now, I'm going to just put it right here in the same organizer as my billing and banking. So here is my little stationary keeper. One is a mail organizer. This one I use to keep my pens and scissors and stuff like that inside. And if you remember when we first started out this video and I showed you the desk tour, these two items were over here, but I feel like they need to be a little bit closer to me. So I'm going to place the pens and the scissors, I'm gonna place right here. And then this here, I'm going to put right on the side. I don't know if you can see, I'm gonna place this right here. Now there was another envelope organizer that's not returning to the desk and it's because a lot of what was in there, if not everything that was in there, are things that I don't even use. It was more like a junk organizer or an organizer used for junk. Does that make sense? So yeah, so I'm not even going to put that back on. And in this video, I'm not even going to show you my process of organizing that envelope organizer. Just let's suffice to say that it's not making its home on this desk anymore. Okay, so one of the things that I wanted to do was I wanted to give my craft room some plant life. So here is my aloe, and I've had this for, I don't know, for a while now. And it normally is upstairs in my dining room, but I think I want it to be downstairs with me. 
Now, I know that some people say that they give their plants names. I don't have a name for this plant, but if you have any idea or suggestions on what I can name this aloe, please put it in the comments below and I will definitely consider it. So we are going to put this aloe and guess what? I don't know if you can tell, but it has some pups coming. One, two, three, four, five. I think that's what they're called pups. Honestly, I am like a novice when it comes to plants. I don't know that much about them, but I'm almost sure that these are called pups. So there's five of them and they're going to live down here with me in my craft room. The other thing that, if I'm not mistaken, is true about aloes, they don't need a lot of attention and a lot of caring, which is really good for me because I'll tell you right now, I could kill a plant. Yeah, I can. So anyway, this is going to go on the desk and I'm going to put it for now on top of these lock and lock containers that I don't have use for right now. So let's put them in this corner right here. And I'm going to place this right there. And guess what? I don't like that. It looks <laughs> retarded. <laughs> okay, but I'm going to fix that. This is what I'm going to do. I have up here, and you probably didn't see them. I have these really cute barrels, containers, whatever. And again, there's nothing in them. You know, I get crazy when it comes to storage stuff. I love boxes. I love baskets. And so when I see them, I buy them. And I don't have use for them. But I'm going to put them right here in front of those containers just so you don't see that eyesore. That makes sense, right? But guess what I'm doing now? Sherelle, I'm cluttering up my space. Guys, I don't want a cluttered space. Give me some suggestions in the comments below if you think you can do this way better than I can. And I'm not liking that either. But the plan is definitely staying. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move this mess out of the corner again. But I am going to let the plant stay. And over time, I'll figure out how I'm going to just kind of deck out or make that space look more attractive. How's that sound? So these are going back where they were. There you go. And I am going to maybe just, hmm, I'm taking these lock and lock containers and I'm removing them off the desk because they're empty. So it just doesn't make sense for me to keep them. So I'm going to place them over here where you can't see. So the way my camera is, it's way against the wall on the other side of the craft room just so that we can get, you know, as much filming space or filming footage or whatever you want to call it in this area. So yeah, there's stuff going on behind the camera that you can't see where I'm putting stuff. Yeah, things are just all over the place. All right. So, um, yeah, I think I'm just going to leave the plant here for now and we'll work out the kinks later. So I do want this nostalgic bubblegum machine to stay on my desk. I know it doesn't match anything in this room. And I thought for a minute about painting it purple, but it would take away the nostalgia. So I'm going to leave it on the desk just because I think it is so cute. What do you think? The next thing that's going back in its place is... Ugh, this box that I talk so much about, this is going right back in its place. I have a good mind to put it underneath the picture that I had bought this to go with. Um, what do you guys think? Let me try it. What you think? There it is. So my thoughts are I'm going to leave it like that for now. I just kind of like how they complement each other. It, it's not a perfect color blend, but I like it. So I think I'm going to leave that there. And truth be told, I actually like my bubblegum machine and my plant here. So, hmm, I'm thinking I might just leave it like that. Well, not exactly like that. 
let me just move some things around and just make it a little bit more organized. Okay, so you can see what I decided to do. I went ahead and I put my bubblegum machine right here. You can't really see it, but there's like this little slot between my desk and this piece right here. And what I did was I took my cup warmer and I set it here and I put the bubblegum machine right behind it. And then I'm just going to leave my aloe plant right here for now and please again if you have any name suggestions for my aloe let me know so i'm standing here and i'm taking a quick look at my desk and i do like it a lot because it's less messy and when i'm sitting at my desk i have a surface space here where i can work and then also i have some space here so I like having some freed up space on both sides of my computer. But one thing I do want to change is I'm going to take all of these scissors and I'm going to put them on my rolling cart and I'm going to take my pens and my markers and stuff and put them closer to my computer. So I'm taking this stuff out and adding the new stuff in okay guys so this is what my desk now looks like and as you can tell a lot of what was on the desk did not return and I'm going to tell you by looking at my desk, and you're taking a look at it too, I know that it's not Pinterest worthy, but guess what? It is functional. Even though I have yet to sit down at my desk and do any work, I can tell you right now that this space is a lot more functional than it was at the beginning of this video. Like I said to you before, I do have space both to the left and the right of my computer and that makes me a very very happy person i also do have some additional space here that i can you know not place anything permanently but if i just need to move things around i have areas to move it to and i'm not so crowded in this workspace and that's very important to me so i'm feeling good and like i said i know that my space is not pinterest worthy if you could see my entire craft room, guess what? It's not Pinterest worthy at all. But for me, my desire is that my craft room gives me what I need it to provide and that my desk is completely functional because as I said before, if there's no other time that I'm at my desk working, Fridays is definitely my time to be at this desk. That's not to say that that's the only time I'm down here because I visit my craft room pretty much every day with the exception of the days that I have to work. And that is because I am a flight attendant. And so my schedule does not allow me to be down here on days that I work. But other than that, I am visiting my craft room all the time. I am a crazy craft lady. I know you guys heard me say that so many times before. And so, yeah, my craft room has to do for me what I need it to do. And it does. So Pinterest worthy? No. But functional and it makes me happy? Absolutely. So guys, I really do hope you enjoyed spending time with me as I reorganize my desk. If you saw anything here that you enjoyed, please give this video a thumbs up. I also ask that you please hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. You would really be helping me with my goal of 500 subscribers by the end of the year. Guys, this is Sherelle from Planet with a Praise saying peace and blessings.